Hi Virgo, thank you for joining me for your Soulmate Twin Flame reading for the week of August 14th through August 20th. I would like to thank all of you who have subscribed, liked, and shared my videos and those who have booked readings with me and donated to my channel. I appreciate all of you and I do enjoy doing this for you very much. If you would like to book a reading or to make donations to my channel, please go to ascendingsoulsjourney.com or you can email me at ascendingsoulsjourney at gmail.com. So, the first card we have for you for the week is the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is a person who, well, they call it the, you know, in traditional tarot, they call it the liar, cheater, thief card, like they steal. So this person has taken what they want and left, if you see their swords here. So they took what they wanted and left what they didn't want. And we'll see what that's about followed by the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is a brand new beginning, a gift from the universe, so you can create a brand new beginning. They're, it's a gift of love. It can also represent a person from your past returning. This is followed by the Five of Pentacles. The so Five of Pentacles is a person, um, well, it can represent a person in pain. It can represent a person who needs help but they feel left out. They, they feel like abandoned. Um, yep. And it's followed by the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords is a person who has been through everything you can think of. This person has been lied to, manipulated, cheated on everything you can think of. And they've taken the good from each situation and because they're highly intelligent and they've turned it into wisdom that will help them in their future lives this person speaks with truth and clarity now they speak it in such a way that it can actually come off a little bit um, cold and unemotional they have emotions it represents um, air signs the qualities the energies of an air sign and people think air signs have no feelings, and that's not true. I am an air sign. We have plenty. We just hide our emotions. So we can contain our tears so that nobody can see them, and we do it in private. I'm going to clarify the Queen of Swords, and there we go. So the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Now, in this deck, when the cards flip upside down, it means the same thing as upright just at a slower pace. So in clarifying the Queen of Swords, okay, so what I'm hearing for some of you is this person hurt you. A person from your past is going to come back and they are going to offer their cup to you. You're gonna have an opportunity to speak your truth because I'm feeling that you were hurt. I mean, the Five of Pentacles is pain, right? So if it was you that embodied the energies of the Queen of Swords, you're gonna speak your truth. But I do believe both of you are going to do that and you will have an opportunity after everything is said and done is to actually create a union with this person if you choose to but they are coming in to tell you the truth and they want to build this ten of pentacles they want a happy long stable solid foundation with you for those of you who are married or with your soulmate right now and yes, that could be with a twin flame. Yes, absolutely. But for those of you who are with your soulmate right now, uh, they may have been hiding something from you or you hiding something from them. And it caused some pain in one or the other. Somebody hid something. Somebody was deceitful. And the truth is going to come out. And when this truth comes out, it's going to allow you it's going to create spiritual growth, emotional growth, and your love is going to ignite and you have an opportunity at that time to, to take your, your existing relationship and move it to a next level. Okay, and 
I wanted to get one more clarification. So it could be the Three of Swords. So for some of you, there may have been the lies and deceit, may have been a third party coming through. But the truth is coming out. And that could have been with you to them, and that could be them with you. Whether you're in the relationship or you're at a distance from the person. But the truth is coming out. Okay? Um... That's a good thing though, Virgo. This is actually really good because we need truth and clarity. I'm gonna pull a romance card to uh, coincide with the reading, but we need this truth and clarity because pain, when we're talking about emotional pain, it will sit inside of us until we are ready to release it. And when we have no closure, when we have no truth spoken, when we don't know what happened or what was going on, it can create this pain and it makes us not be able to shut the door on the past. But you're being called to make that move yourself, within yourself. It holds no bearing on your partner. You need to be able to shut that door on your past life in order to start a brand new beginning with this partner, if you choose, or with somebody else. Um, I don't see anything indicating that you want to, I mean, Ten of Pentacles is a solid, stable foundation, something that has longevity to it. So for the group of you this is resonating with, you have an opportunity to have an incredibly wonderful future. Okay, forgive, forgiving and learning, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. And that is clarifying what I just said to you. Look at all this beautiful, this is the universe, okay? This is, this is God saying it's time to forgive and, and, and learn from the lesson. So, like I said, this person, whoever, whether it's you or your partner, the other person, the qualities that this person has is truth and clarity, okay? they are able to let go of the past and learn from the past to create wisdom. So for those of you, what I'm hearing is it's time to heal and it's first it's time to listen to your whoever this person is, all right? They are coming back. They're going to come back to have a conversation with you and it's your opportunity to speak the truth as well as theirs. So they may tell you there was a third party. Now, this doesn't mean that they were cheating on you. Okay, let's be clear about this. This card can represent emotionally hanging on to somebody in the past. That's not physically cheating, although it feels like it because they are thinking about somebody else. They're, they're completely engulfed in somebody else and not putting 100% into this relationship. So for those of you in a relationship, they took what they wanted and you know they didn't give and this is this is all coming about and that's what mercury retrograde kind of uh, that's part of what it is so people coming back from our past so we can get closure we can put the past in the past so that we can live in the now and move towards the future and what a brilliant opportunity a brilliant future so at least listen to this person and make sure that you speak your truth so that you can forgive and learn and see if you want to reconcile with them. So you have quite an interesting week for many of you and we would all love to hear your comments. So Virgo, have a wonderful week and much love.